What's up, foodie fam? It's your girl Miranda, also known as Uprooted Foodie. Today, I thought I'd give you a super easy recipe video for sushi burritos. They're technically nori wraps, but you can cut them up into sushi pieces, and well, they're just delicious, so let's get started. As you can see here, I've prepped way too many vegetables, but we've got asparagus, cucumber, carrots, radish, celery, and basil. I also have local Colorado microgreens, super good for you and super tasty, and some spicy peanuts to mix things up. Here we've got vinegar and sugar and rice, a bowl of water, and two kinds of wraps, nori sheets and seaweed sheets. Now, the true nori wrap needs to be something like this, something sturdy, the Emerald Cove brand is what I'm using, and see how it has the grooves, and one side is more shiny, that's what you want. Now the seaweed shouldn't be your first choice, but I wanted to see how it would work, so stay tuned to find out. So here you can see I've got some sugar and vinegar. I will list the portions that you need of those each below. You'll want to stir these into your rice while the rice is still warm, but I let my rice cool for the sake of time before adding it. It still tastes amazing, uh, it just absorbs better with the flavors. I would say the most important thing about this, if you don't want to flavor your rice, is to just make sure that the rice is thoroughly cooled before using in your wraps. First, I'm gonna grab the nori sheet. You can see that there's a shiny side. You want that side facing down. The bowl of water is here so that you can dip your fingers into it and make sure that when you're placing the rice into the wrap, it doesn't really stick to your fingers too much because you will need to use your hands for this. I don't have a bamboo mat or a rolling mat for sushi, and honestly, you don't really need one. Also, it has to be said that this recipe is based off of my sister, Chef Katie, of Trumpet Blossom Cafe. She's the owner. She came up with a nori roll recipe, and it looked so easy and fun that I just had to try it. So I've made this recipe several times at home, as well as for the Vegan Chub Club podcast, where I stepped into a cooking demo and uh, made these on there. You want to make sure that the rice goes all the way to the edges, but you want to leave about an inch at the top. Here I'm just grabbing some radish. We had a bunch from our produce box, so this seemed like something crunchy and fun to have in a nori wrap. I'm also adding carrots, asparagus, some of the cucumber, and celery as well. Now for this, you also wanna make sure, like your rice meeting all the way to the edges, you want the vegetables to meet all the way to the outside so that it's a nice even roll and that the edges don't collapse, especially if you wanna make this look particularly pretty. And I'm just kind of tearing up the basil here. You can use as much or as little as you like. Now my first choice wasn't necessarily spicy peanuts, but that's what I had on hand. I do enjoy these so much in sushi. There's a place in my home area, they just kind of have a fun roll that's peanut avocado, and so that's something that my sister and I have really like grown to obsess over. <laughs> and I think in her video she makes it with cashews, but I made mine with peanuts. And microgreens, these are super fun to make it pretty, they're just a nice little bite of microgreens. So as we start the rolling process, here's what you need to know. Again, make sure you have that inch at the very top. You'll see what that's for in a minute. Make sure that all your vegetables are evenly placed in the middle or even closer to you so that you can get a good grip on rolling them. Now, the rice has kind of like moistened the wrap a little bit to make it more pliable. You'll stick your thumbs underneath, and I like to grab the vegetables in the middle with my hands. As you can see, I'm kind of cupping and curling around the vegetables. And then just kind of gently scrunch up so that it rolls onto itself. 
and just kind of squeeze it along the way as you go. You'll dip your fingers into the water and you'll go ahead and wet the edges so that it seals onto itself. You might need to get a feel for that, for how much or how little you need. Um, less is more, but also don't use too little. So yeah, that's our very first roll. Arguably, it could have been a little tighter. The vegetables could go evenly, more so out to the edges, but this works very well for the first roll of the day. So just for fun, or just for shiggles, as my professor used to say, I'm going to try and attempt this with a seaweed wrap. These are more roasted, so they're a little crunchier. I don't technically know the difference between seaweed and nori, so bear with me here as I kind of stumble through uh, why one is better than the other, but I just know that nori is way more pliable and a little more like sturdy in terms of holding up. But you'll repeat the same process here. You'll grab the rice, with your wetted hands or just your hands apparently and you'll go ahead and fill those to the edges again and i'm just picking an array of vegetables to throw in here i've made these before with everything you see here but also avocado and when i made this for the cooking class i went ahead and made a dressing to go along with this which you can see in some of the pictures from the beginning but it was a spicy mayo which was just some sort of vegan mayonnaise along with a version of sriracha and you can kind of do whatever you want for those kind of dressings and when i did this for the cooking class they were asking if it was possible to just go ahead and drizzle that in the wrap before you roll it up and 100 percent you can do whatever you want here whatever tastes good to you and if you like a lot of sauce and dressing in your wrap then go for it i like to dip mine or kind of drizzle it on top though. So now we're attempting the same tactic as the nori wrap. Once we start to roll, I think you can probably tell that it's a little crispier, a little crunchier, a little more awkward, but not much, just noticeably though. And this one was already kind of broken, so I kind of just wanted to use it as a test run anyway. So it looks like it worked pretty well. It is a little more oily than the nori wrap, and I think that's just because this is meant to be kind of a crispy, oily snack, but they do give you big sheets, so I think it could be intended as a wrap as well. I've got the microgreens sticking out of the end there. If these don't hold up as wraps or burritos, you can absolutely chop them up and kind of just eat them as a vegetable salad with some seaweed chopped up in there. These do keep in the fridge really well. You can have them, I mean, I would say up to five days later if you want. Sushi holds up pretty well. And the vinegar and the sugar and the rice really does keep that flavor and it kind of preserves everything from getting too mushy and too soggy. But there you have it, an easy sushi burrito recipe or nori wrap recipe, or you can cut these up and make sushi rolls out of them. And it's very easy, very tasty. I hope that you enjoyed this video and give it a like if it was something that you enjoyed and you would want to see more of. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next adventure, whether that is on the road or in the kitchen. Bye bye. My weakness comes and goes. My weakness comes and goes.